everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today I actually want to address an email that I received, um, a specific question and a very simple question asking me if there's any carbs in the raw food diet and when I received this email I have to honestly say my heart dropped because I get this question quite a bit. You know, every now and again I receive an email of someone asking me this question and I know exactly where it's coming from. You know, it's coming from a lot of hype out there in sort of the mainstream and the media, everything that, you know, carbs are bad and people should avoid carbs. And there's a big misunderstanding about carbohydrates, about proteins, about fats, everything. And, you know, this is why I have the blog, is pretty much so I can answer these questions and give people a simple answer and, you know, just to clarify things so that people can take care of themselves, they can eat properly and confidently make the right choices in the food they're eating and, and what they're doing for their health. So, when it comes down to carbohydrates, we actually need carbohydrates to live, okay? Everyone does, in order for your body to function. And I'm not just talking about getting up and doing your work and exercising, things like that. I'm also talking about it needs the carbohydrates, the glucose from carbohydrates as the fuel, as the energy in order to function. So in order to breathe, in order for your heart to beat, in order for your brain to work, you need carbohydrates. Okay, so when people are like, oh, I'm taking out all carbohydrates from my diet, they notice over time that you know they they don't have much energy that things are not working so well and and that you know being on a very low carbohydrate diet is not very healthy at all being on a high protein high fat diet is not healthy okay and that's one thing i want to also be clear about is is that when people go on a high protein diet that also means they're going on a high fat diet because most high protein foods okay, especially animal protein foods, are usually high in fat, okay, the two go hand in hand. And a lot of times people, you know, say, oh, they feel more satiated eating a high protein diet. Well, it might actually be because they're eating a high fat diet that they feel that they have less of an appetite because the calories are denser and it's more difficult to break down these foods. One thing too I also want to point out is that whenever there's a carbohydrate in a food there's also most of the time there's fiber unless it's a refined food okay but fiber and carbohydrates go hand in hand so when someone asks is there any carbs in a raw food diet well yeah all the food has carbohydrates you know uh, the vegetables the fruit everything nuts seeds all of it they every everything that comes out of nature has carbohydrates because it's got fiber right and the, a lot of times the more fiber you have in the food, the more carbohydrates you have, which is not a bad thing. That's just how it works. And if you were to cut out carbohydrates, then you're cutting out the fiber. We know what happens when people cut out fiber, right? It equals constipation. And it's not only constipation of the intestines, but you can also look at it like it's constipation of the arteries. You know, that if you're eating so much proteins and fats and very little carbohydrates, you're clogging up your arteries and that can contribute, as we know from science, to heart problems and other, other issues with the liver and different organs. So it's something to consider as well, you know, that you don't want to be cutting out a food group and especially carbohydrates, but what you do want to cut out, and this is where I want to be, you know, sort of, um, I guess, clarify things, is that the carbohydrates you want to eliminate are the refined sugars and the refined starches, not, not the, the sugars and starches that are, are coming from your fruits and vegetables, but the refined stuff that's coming from flour, that's coming from high fructose corn syrup, that's coming from sugar, that's coming from fruit that's been broken down so much that all the nutrition's been taken out, all the fiber's been taken out, and what is left is just carbohydrates. That, that is a huge issue right there because the thing with carbohydrates, it is a sugar and a lot of times when people are concerned with carbohydrates and sugar load, it's because they don't want it rushing into their bloodstream too quickly and too fast that their body can't keep up with balancing it out and metabolizing it. So you always want to make sure that you eat carbohydrates that are high in fiber and those are fresh fruits, fresh vegetables and also nuts and seeds and sprouts, things like that. So 
what people should be looking at instead of being like, you know, how many carbs are in here and how much is in there, you should be looking at, okay, you know, make the goal, cut out all refined foods. So that means like cutting out the flours, it means cutting out starches, it means cutting out sugar, things like that, and eating more food that has more fiber. So go for the fiber rich foods, which is automatically fruits and vegetables, because the fiber in those foods is what's going to balance out your blood sugar and what's going to enable you to metabolize these carbohydrates much better and also help clean out your system at the same time. So to answer this question, yes, there are carbohydrates in a raw food diet and it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. You need carbohydrates in your diet, you need to have a well-balanced diet along with having protein and fats but never cutting out one food group because in the long term, you will run into problems. All right, so I am wishing you guys a fabulous day and I'll see you tomorrow, bye.